Hey, buddy. Hey. So, where's Holden? Please tell me he's at the Lakeview and he's getting ready. Nope. Oh, Jack, this is unbelievable. My cousin is supposed to be getting married in a few hours, and you let the groom run off to France to bring home his ex-wife. Please, he'll get here when he gets here, Carly. How can you be so calm about this? What, what do you want me to do, honey? You shouldn't let him go in the first place. What was I supposed to do, arrest him? Yes, if it would have kept him here, yeah. He was determined to go, and that should tell you something. What does that mean? If he's so quick to fly off to France to rescue Lily the night before he's supposed to marry your cousin. Oh, no, don't say it. Carly, I don't want to hear it. then maybe he's not ready to go through with this wedding after all. Don't have time for this, Jack. I've got a million things to do before the wedding. You just better hope that Holden makes it back in time. And if he doesn't... Stop it. That's him now. Hey, what's going on? Hey, I just landed in Marseille, right on schedule. Great. I'm gonna head over to the perfume factory, grab Lily, and turn right around. I should have plenty of time to make it back for the wedding. You better, otherwise it's gonna be hell to pay. Jack, listen, thanks for covering for me. Don't thank me. Just get back here in time for your own damn wedding. Okay, well, it sounds like everything's gonna work out. And Holden is gonna make it back in time for the wedding, which is a huge relief. I guess. Oh, come on. Please don't tell me you're still falling for this Holden and Molly belong together myth. It's ridiculous. <laughs> What'd you just say? Don't you mean Holden and Lily? Yeah, of course. Well, well you said Holden and Molly. I did? Yeah, you did. Well, it was a mistake. You sure about that? Yeah, it was a slip of the tongue. I'm sure about it. Okay. And you know, we wouldn't even be having this conversation if you didn't encourage Holden to fly halfway around the world to, to help Lily out of a situation that she probably well, could have handled all on her own. Well, clearly he didn't think that she could handle this on her own, and I didn't encourage him any more than I tried to stop him. Thank you very much. Hey there, guy. You look sharp. Thanks. Everything okay? Everything is peachy keen. Really? Because it didn't really sound that way. It's fine. I just have a lot to do, and I'm falling behind, and everybody should catch up. Otherwise, this whole wedding could turn into a disaster. Really, why would it turn into a disaster? Never mind. You guys are lousy liars, okay? Hey, nobody's lying. We just had a bit of a snag. What That's kind all. of a snag? Nothing. Your father's exaggerating. Get the dress, please, and bring it to the car. And you, you better hope that overseas delivery gets here in time. Old? Uh, that one's blank. Do you have any suggestions? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. Here you are. Is this what I think it is? Hmm? The feather from my wedding to Jack in Montana. Hi. You kept this all these years? Of course. I can't take this. Yes, you can. I want you to. It'll bring you luck. <laughs> oh, he's shaking. Why are you shaking? Because I'm a nervous wreck. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. Has Jack talked to Holden this morning? How is he? I'm sure he's scrambling. Hey, Jack, I thought you took the day off for your cousin's wedding. I, I did, I'm just catching up on some emails and I guess you gotta check one more thing and then I'm out of here. Oh no. Hey, oh. Luke! I have a hey. billion. Uh, where's Carly? I, I need to talk to her right away. Oh, if it's like a dream, it's perfect. Thank you, mm, thank you. It's so pleasure. beautiful. Uh, who is it? Jack, is, is Carly in there? Of course she is. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. Are you, are you sure you're decent? Fantastic. Hey. I'm gonna Hi. jump in the shower. Well, happy, happy uh, wedding day. Thank you. Well, have you talked to Holden? What? I checked the weather online. There's a huge storm brewing over the Atlantic. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this can't be happening. Flights are being delayed or canceled all over the place. Oh, well, maybe Holden got out in time. Got out in time? What do canceled flights and storms over the Atlantic Ocean have to do with Holden? We gotta tell her. Tell me what? 
What's going on? Where's Holden? Hopefully he's on a plane, headed back. Headed back? From where? France. Marseille. Is this some kind of pre-wedding humor? Because Holden is at the Lake Dew. He's not in France. Not funny, guys. Not funny at all. Hey, Molly. Look at me, OK? This is not a joke. I didn't want to tell you, but with the storm, there's not much of a choice. So if you're being honest with me, then tell me why the hell Holden would go to Marseille on the day of his wedding. He went yesterday, last, last night. His plan was to be in back in time for the wedding. He didn't say anything to me about it. Why did he go? You tell her. You're the one who let him leave. I didn't let him leave. I... He went after... He went after Lily. Lily? Apparently she's in some kind of trouble over there. What kind of trouble? I, I didn't get the details. It must be very serious or he wouldn't have considered going. Yeah, but he did. On the night before our wedding. So now there probably isn't even going to be one because there's a storm over the Atlantic Ocean. He could still make it if he got out in time. I'm so sorry, honey. You knew about this all morning? Why didn't you say anything to me? Well, I was hoping that you didn't have to please, know. Please, don't be, don't be angry at Carly. I, she, she wanted to tell you. I convinced her to give Holden a chance to get back in time. We just didn't want you to be upset on the day of your wedding. Look what we brought! Oh, hey, guys, you know what? Molly will be out in two seconds, okay? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. You guys have perfect timing. Let me see this bouquet. Oh, these are beautiful. It is going to be a wonderful wedding. <laughs>